playing with a guy that's just dumb enough to get up here and try to play with him. <laughs> and then he got it knocks me like you play. Uh, yeah. I ain't scared. You no, you shouldn't be. It's about a convivial musical congress. It is. It is. I, I start. I start concentrating. Do you feel better having gotten that out of your system? Well, you know what? I had to pass it. <laughs> Uh, That's we, yeah, we're, we're here uh, in part because we want to be. That's right, right? Uh, and we've been we've been doing this uh, musical demo collaboration thing for a few years, and it's, we realized that like, it's kind of fun to do it in person, right? And get people's actual reactions, and take questions, and do that sort of thing. But we also came to meet uh, Russo because today we launched this beautiful Russo music exclusive. Double H and OG in orchid pink with the dark roasted maple neck. And uh, Scott likes to have us out. Yeah. <laughs> the cool stores like to do cool things. That's correct. Right. Yeah. And I I'm, I'm big on that too, man. When, uh, when Scott has an idea and he bounces it off us, we're excited to do that kind of stuff because it just gives us an opportunity to put something new. Right? The day um, street. Do something cool. And I like pink. I do too. You know what? Nothing says I am a bad MFR than when you get on stage with a pink guitar. You have no fear at that point. <laughs> I agree with that. I dig it. So this full up is is the humbucker on full humbuckerness. That's a six gun over there. Yeah. And we uh, we brought this back in 2017 as well. It's our three pickup. Solid. Uh, Thank you. 
What basically transpired is is that uh, I've been doing pickups with Fishman now for about six years, and I developed these uh, what they call the Fluence Gristle Tone pickups for Telecaster, and um, I've known Ken for a while, causing trouble. There was a we've been doing videos together for a eight, long time, eight nine years, long now. time, a long time. And uh, back in May at uh, Dallas. Joe and I were talking, if you ever want to do anything, no pressure, because we're buddies, but if you ever want to do anything, I'd be interested in talking about it. That lot's very interesting. And at that point, we had put some of these pickups in a uh, Pete Anderson East Cider, and that delicious, delicious blue hue. What is that? What do we call that? Blue? Satin Deep Sea. Satin Deep Sea. My delicious color, indeed. And I've been playing that guitar and just thrashing and throttling it in submission. Oh, yeah, it's for far I show it none. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I, I came by you to do some videos down in Toledo and to eat some hot dogs with Tony Paco's, delicious. And uh, I said, you know what we could do? I said, we could just 
pop my pickups in one of these east side, if we would change the neck profile, put a different bridge on there, do some funky colors. And you're like, well, we don't have to stop there. We can do whatever you want. And I said, Lord, have mercy. So what I really always wanted was, because I'm a big fella. We're both big fellas. Let's be honest about it. Uh, how tall? You're six, six, six. You're six. six. I'm six, seven. Yeah. Good pop. We're big fellas. <laughs> and every time I play a telemacaster, people are going, looking at me, going, "Don't you got a mandolin?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sick of it. So I've always wanted to have a slightly larger body guitar. Nothing so huge that it looks weird, but this is literally two percent all the way around. And it just looks more proportionate to the larger fella. And what's that? How, how compared to a telly, how much wider is it? Well, it's literally three percent bigger. Is it three percent? Three percent bigger. Yeah. Group. yeah. No, I don't do. I, yeah, you have to do the math. It's that much bigger. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So it's just a little bit. You left yeah. it out in the rain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it looks like an optical illusion. <laughs> it's just a little something. And then um, I had I got this guitar actually down in Dallas, and I was playing it in some of my orange room Facebook meanderings, and Joe Naylor saw it, and because we were talking about this larger body, he goes, "What? Because I have this guitar that's like a Firebird body with a Telecaster neck and Telecaster controls." Joe goes, "What if we did a middle section that's raised like that Firebird thing you have, that Telebird?" I'm like, "That's an excellent idea," and so. We decided to do that, and then initially we were going to do a metal thing around here, but we decided to go with this pickguard material, which I think looks pretty cool and looks even more unique. And uh, Rosa Maple Board, this neck profile is, is a little thicker than what's on the east sider. This is actually more like my, I, I've got a 53 Tele at home, and it's more like that neck. And uh, compound radius, 10 to 12 inch radius, got the locking tuners. Uh, and it's got my pickups in it. So these pickups, um, they have two voices to them and they actually have, what's cool about it is they have this, this input jack right underneath that it has a little mini USB input because there's a lithium ion battery in here. Uh, which, you know, it was like a battery. I was the same way. What do you mean there's a battery in here? Well, an hour and a half charge, you get 300 hours of plugs and playing time, so it's really not an issue. And in return for that, you have actual noise-free pickups that sound fantastic. Usually that's not the case. Usually you know, I've got some noiseless pickups. They sound okay. You know what I mean? But this is like, no, they sound great and they're noiseless. And then it allows you to have multiple voices. So this button, actually not dissimilar from the idea as far as functionality as the bass contour, but it basically it changes the way the pickups are voiced from a, like a white guard telly to a black guard telly. And it's like literally, you press that button and it's like swapping the pickups out. So. <laughs> Having the thicker body in the middle gives you uh, 
a really strong initial attack that's sustained from just having more mass underneath the bridge uh, while allowing the rest of the body to resonate because the rest of the body is a little thinner. Um, it's not as pronounced on his model as it is on the aerosonic, but it's still part of it. And then by shaving off that extra bit of wood, sort of makes up for the weight difference, <coughs> adding that extra circumference on it so it's not a heavy guitar. I mean, there are those, again, I haven't seen we've seven, only, seven. We've only done a, yeah, we've only done a handful of prototypes and they're all around seven, seven, seven to seven ten or whatever for a pretty large style of body. So it takes a little, it takes a few ounces off as well. And then plus it looks cool. Yeah, <laughs> and it looks cool. When's that going to be available? January. 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 It's officially going to be launched at the damn show. Yes, sir. This bridge. Mm -hmm. this, this, uh, part of that package. this bridge is actually, this is the prototype. The bridge is actually going to be able to, we decided to go with the bridge without the. Oh, no, we're using that bridge. Oh, we are using the Wilkinson bridge. Yeah. All right, well, then there we go. Okay. I don't I don't think think yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, we have time for that. Well, Joe, Joe had mentioned it. Couldn't get it. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with it. This yeah, that's because, that, uh, well, and you, again, Trent. That's, right. that's a Wilkinson bridge, and that's Wilkinson's yeah. three barrel yeah. bridge. And you originally suggested that bridge, and we got it, we liked it, and Naylor wanted to look at something different, and then the thing that we were looking at didn't happen. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, I, Wilkinson I mean, this, this is, is more of kind of the... Uh, the compensated brass barrels. Yeah, they're compensated brass, and I like, I like the three <coughs> brass barrels because I, I just think it gives it a little bit more twang. Yeah. <laughs> Pickup, uh, what's called the white guard setting. 